Meet Jonathan. His story shows us the value of early detection and early intervention. Watch Jonathan in his early physical therapy sessions and see his remarkable progress over time. When Jonathan was born, I noticed uh, that he tend to, tended to tilt to the right a little bit, and his tone seemed to be a little looser than I would expect. Uh, having had a child before, I noticed that something was definitely not quite right. Uh, my son really couldn't push up on his arms and lift his head. The three-month milestones were not being met. What Jonathan experienced is a condition called positional torticollis. Torticollis is where one of the muscles in the neck is shortened or constricted, resulting in a tilt of the head to one side. Continuing to sit in this position also impacted Jonathan's posture and motor development as a whole. I was lucky that not only was I an athlete before uh, so that I had things to look for, but I also was a mother before. And I noticed my son was not reaching those milestones. Diane's instincts were correct, and Jonathan began physical therapy at four months. She brought up her concerns about his posture and development with Jonathan's pediatrician, who then referred him to a physical therapist for an evaluation. Goals were set for Jonathan, including stretching his neck muscles, improving his core strength, and developing the skills needed to meet his milestones. An important part of Jonathan's success included a home-based program with increased tummy time and positioning to improve his posture. By six months old, Jonathan's torticollis was greatly improved. It still appeared he had a slight curve in his spine because of his difficulty sitting up straight. Here you see Jonathan at six months old in a therapy session. He is beginning to sit unsupported, one of the main six-month milestones but most of his weight is shifted to his left side, resulting in a slight curve in his spine. His therapist is working on shifting his weight to be balanced in the middle. It is clear it is more difficult for Jonathan to be balanced while sitting with his weight in the middle of his frame. By nine months, Jonathan is able to sit completely independently. He is much stronger than he was at six months, and the curve in his spine is greatly reduced. His head is now held squarely in the middle of his shoulders. Jonathan still has a tendency to keep his weight on his left side. He holds his right arm close to his body to aid in stability while playing. Two months later, Jonathan is able to sit with a straight spine and his weight balanced in the middle. The curve you saw in a six month video is gone and he can now move freely, reaching for a toy in any direction. When looking at Jonathan's back in these two comparison photos, his progress is clearly remarkable. His core strength and balance are evident from the way he freely uses both arms in the 11th month photo. His parents' original concern about turning his head in both directions is now resolved as Jonathan can explore his environment and interact more freely. Jonathan continued to be monitored by his therapist, though as he got older, his visits became less frequent. As Jonathan learned new skills, he was watched for any signs of reoccurrence. By 26 months, he was discharged. Jonathan is now able to run, jump, climb stairs, and keep up with his friends. He may not have had this chance without the promise of early therapy. I'm very thankful that we had early intervention and uh, we got the treatment. and the differences it's made in my child's life and, and obviously ours. And I know he's off to an incredible start.